Hey guys, today you're coming to the barn with me. The temperature is about to drop a lot. It's about to get so, so cold. So I have to get Zoro all groomed up so I can throw a blanket onto him. I've let him grow out a nice, very fluffy winter coat, but it's about to get to about six degrees. So he's going to need a blanket over the top of that. But as you saw in my last video, he is so dirty, covered in hay and dirt, and I don't want him being uncomfortable under his blanket so we're gonna fix that today and hopefully that will be pretty satisfying and you'll get to see more of Zoro as I know lots of people love him and on the way to the barn we have to get shavings from Orshlet which ours is now turned into Buckite I think that's how you say it I don't know they rebranded it so it's no longer called Orshlet but they have the best shavings I'll show you my favorites okay so let's go get those how do people vlog in public? This is the most awkward thing, and I was not even talking. I grabbed them some peppermints while I was here, the soft ones, because I know lots of horses enjoy peppermints, and I saw a super funny ornament, and I got my favorite fine shavings. They are so soft, very fine, so they are very easy to sift through, and there are a lot of them. And I got five bags for the week. Uh, sometimes I go through them sooner, sometimes I don't. It just kind of depends on how wet Scout decides to be. Pastures are full, so he has to run around in here uh, while I clean his stall, but I think he'll enjoy it. I'm just sad he won't be able to graze. Yeah. He's gonna be so fun to groom when I get done cleaning. I forgot to get a pick. So, let's go do that. <laughs> clean stalls in like all of my barn vlogs um it has to be done this is what i do at the barn uh, Zora's stall is not as wet as it has been normally so hopefully i won't bore you for too long it is extremely satisfying though to see the before and after at least to me and today i will be grooming zoro for the first time on this channel i'm pretty sure i don't think i've ever groomed him for y'all i mean I don't think I have. So that'll probably be fun. Very exciting because he is very wild and rambunctious and I'm sure it will get very interesting but he has to be clean before we put the blanket on him so he's not uncomfy but let's get to cleaning. <music> of the pelletized bedding uh, to replace what I took out and then I'm going to put shavings over just for an extra level of comfort because he does have joint problems and he has his ankle injury that causes his lameness so I want to make sure he's a nice comfy bed to lay on and just to cushion his feet since he does lay down a lot and he's kind of old and has arthritis so I just like to keep it as comfy as possible for him while he's in here. I have to cart my pivo around everywhere it's so funny. Are you having fun? <laughs> what are you scared of? Hmm. 
Yeah. Okay, is that all you have to say? We just got new pellets, so I had to cut them open. Now it is time to groom Zorro. As you can see, he is so, so muddy and has all this like dirt build up on him. So he has just been allowed to be a horse. And I'm gonna get it all off before I put the blanket on because I've worn an itchy sweater before. I don't want him to have hay or anything uncomfortable under it. So we're gonna get it off. I have my cowboy magic, my soft brush, my plastic curry, and my wet brush. I always use a wet brush on the main because I think the regular brushes, even the regular main brushes, are way too harsh and pull a lot of hair out. So I really like the wet brush. And yeah. <music> Starting with the little plastic curry thing to break up the dust so it's easier to brush off with the soft brush instead of just being stuck kind of in his skin or in his fur I guess being stuck in his fur yeah you have anything you want to say okay I have to be really gentle with him I mentioned in my last video if you want to go formally meet Zoro go watch my last video but he was abused and neglected, so he does have some weird fears, yeah? Like, you can't come at his face, and he's really scared of water, and he flinches really bad. So if you notice that, that is why. He is really gorgeous, though. You've just been allowed to be super dirty. <laughs> he loves to roll in the mud and the sand, and he always does. He's really, really hard to keep clean, even when I was showing him. So I've let him... I've given up during a time.
his stomach is growling so bad. He has dinner in his stall, so once I'm done, he can go back. I'm not really gonna super groom him. I'm just getting where the blanket goes. One day I will get everything. I'm also gonna do his mane, just because it's very bad. But I'm not gonna stress him out for his whole body because he does get pretty stressed. And he hasn't, like, we haven't done this in a long time, really. Like, I brush him off and everything, but he's not normally, you know, tied to the trailer, getting the full experience. So, I don't want to overwhelm him. And because he has dinner, and he's very excited for dinner. too much more just really make sure all of the uncomfy dirt and hay is off yeah this is a human wet brush you can tell i've been using it at the barn for a long time but when i do their mains i like to use this nice soft brush it doesn't pull out any unnecessary hair like it only gets the dead hair out and it's not going to be too harsh because i think human brushes if people use those anyway I use a wet brush because it's nice and gentle, doesn't pull out as much hair. The other mane and tail brushes and human brushes, I'd say they're the same thing, are a little too harsh and I think they pull out too much hair. The little balls of caked up mud were so stubborn they wouldn't come off with the rubber curry comb they wouldn't come off with any of the other brushes so i did have to bust out the metal curry comb that i absolutely never use i just don't like it that much and i have a slick easy but i used it today very very gently to get the little balls of mud off and it worked really well thankfully <music> to go eat. He has not had a blanket on. As you can tell, he has grown a nice, fluffy, warm winter coat, but since it's getting down to six degrees, he has to wear one. Uh, it's not super big, not super thick, because I don't want him to overheat, because he does have all that hair, but it is too cold to go without one. <music> was so happy to see his dinner and I gave him lots of hay because he needs forage to keep warm. He is pretty chubby and has that nice coat so I think he'll be doing pretty good most of winter. Now I try to give everyone a peppermint and Kite refuses, does not even attempt to taste test. Uh, Chester is very interested, he comes all the way up to me but drama follows quickly after. <laughs> Thank you. 
Did you not like it? I don't have another one. Oh, that's my hand. Another one. Oh, that's my hand. I guess I'm going to try again. It's the same thing. You don't want it? You all picky? Bruh. I thought y'all loved peppermint. Okay. There's not a single thought behind your eyes. Zoro did not give me much hope. And I finally went to scout. He was so promising. He acted like he was going to take it. And then drama followed as well. Nobody wanted my peppermint, so I'm gonna have to eat this whole bag by myself. Okay, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. Bye!